everybody. This is gonna be a chit chat, hanging out, catching up. I'm here in my craft room. I did some cooking downstairs, did a little cleaning, then I came up here to hang out just for a little while because I have a lot to do. But it's like I felt like I needed a little decompression time. And it's just downstairs with the boys. They're doing some learning at activities on the floor. They're doing their thing. They're being kind of quiet now. And I was like, you know what? Let me go upstairs and just do a little something for me because it's like I need it's like I have, you know, when you have a little bit of energy inside of you, a little pent up energy, it's like I kind of need to allow this to be released. So I'm trying to think what I want to share with you. Oh, well, I could share a couple of things that I that I was finding over here. I was going through some of my jewelry and um, also in the mail before I say any of this, because this is just some of my vintage and newer pieces that I had here. Because I have, um, I love collecting vintage jewelry. I love jewelry. Jewelry is like, love me some jewelry. And um, I was just going through my stuff and finding things. So, yeah. But I did get some mail. And it was from Candace. Hi, Candace. How you doing, girl? I got your card. And this was so cute. She put a little sticker on there and everything. And then if I could, let me see. There we go. Look at him so cute thank you so much for the card sweetheart and i'm glad that you're enjoying my channel and, uh, and you're new to the youtube community that's awesome there's a lot that you can do with the youtube com community and learn from um it's so vast and the array is just so big and so many talented people um it's it's amazing what youtube can do from watching you know i watched a maureen o'hara movie yesterday with my husband, one of the pirate ones. What was it? Um, was it called the Black Swan or something like that? It was the pirate one with Maureen O'Hara. And we watched it. And I love all Maureen O'Hara movies. And I also love uh, Doris Day. And uh, one other one. Why is all this over here shifting? I'm like wondering what all my stuff is like. All my stuff is like truly shifting. I keep on moving stuff. Um, not just like old time movies and things like that. So he and I enjoyed that together downstairs while the kids were running around and, and we watched that together, which was really nice because it's not really his thing. That's not his thing. But he sat down and he enjoyed it with me because he knew it was my thing, which I really appreciate it. But um, thank you so much for this lovely card. It's so, so cute. And all the cute little stickers, Halloween stickers in here. I do plan on starting to do pocket letters probably in another month or two. I'm going to start getting my feet wet back into that. And um, if I start it back up, if you're still following me and what have you, and I, and I throw it out there, you know, I wouldn't mind doing one with you at that time. But right now, um, I'm more concentrating on the upcoming holidays, doing this crafty challenge. I still have to finish up my Halloween, my Halloween dollhouse, which, you know, I knew it may not be done by Halloween, but I, I display my dollhouses year round with whatever the display is, whatever the season it is. But let me show you some of the pieces that I found while I was rummaging through stuff. And, um, this piece, this piece was actually broken and this is a, I wish I had my glasses or my magnifier, but it's in my purse. This is a sign piece, but I don't know by who, but it is broken. So I'm just going to work with it for a, um, what do you call it? A mixed media piece, like something like when I did these, let me pull these out. When I did something like this, I'll show you right now. Let me see if I can pull this out without things dropping. Ugh. Here we go. I'm sorry. I know I'm stretching over. Um, you know, when I do, when I did my mixed media piece, when I did this one and it was just a 10 and it looked like that. And then I just, you know, did the mixed media. I'll let you look at it real quick. And, um, I did the inside. I think I'm so forgetful. Yeah, I did do the inside. All this was just plain. And then that was, you know, a decorative piece, of course. Here we go. Really pretty. And then I still have to decorate the inside of it. So that was my one of my mixed media pieces. 
but um here's another one this was a dollar tree you could tell compact which you can tell is a compact and that was a mixed media type of a piece that i used jewelry jewelry findings this one like that and i did this one this also is a compact as you can tell it's a compact it has a mirror on both sides and this one's more like a shabby chic look but again you know it's like i just used my jewelry pieces and i did have a little doily in the back and if anybody knows where to find these type of things these type of um things and these type of bling pieces they're made out of like metal and what have you they're a little bit cheaper if you could let me know where you guys get them from i would love to know because i don't really have any more left i used everything that i had i used up my whole stash and i had that stash forever i'm talking about forever and i got it from a thrift store like in a nice big bag and it's gone now it's done but this piece will lend itself well to like you know mixed media type of piece you know you just add it on to something then i found this which I'm going to be adding on to, see, I don't think this one's signed, no. Which I'm going to be adding on to a coat or a blouse or something. I'm going to start pulling my pieces out. And I love green. And look at the beautiful leaves. Um, I'm going to start pulling some of my pieces out because I need to donate a lot of clothes. And um, some of the pieces that I can recognize right off the bat that I'm like, oh my gosh, that would look killer with it. Just put it on and leave it on, on, leave it on the item. So then you don't have to go looking for it. And then this one, I remember my sister gave me this. And this is like, you know, one of those run-of-the-mill type of um, looks here. And it goes like that. It's rather long, which is kind of cool even for like a big coat, a winter coat or something. Where you want like a bigger type, something big. Sometimes you can even add two or three pieces on a winter coat at one time. Just to give it a lot of bling. Now this one is vintage. Now these are one of the pieces that I absolutely love. This is not signed or anything. And these are one of my pieces that I absolutely love. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I also found a piece in green. And I think I have the green one. See it has a little wear to it. But I don't care. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's just such a beautiful big statement piece, as you can tell, it's rather large. It's a nice big statement piece. And I do have one that's in a different format, but is green. And I found these all at a thrift store many, 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 many year ago. And I haven't been able to find anything like that since. And then this is more like a little newer type piece, I believe. This is not signed. And I thought this was just a very whimsical, kind of cool looking you know so you could use that in mixed media as well these pieces i won't be using for mixed media these are going to go into my bedroom but this i could see me using in mixed media this one that's already broken in the back as well and then this one's just beautiful and i know this one signed this one is um i could almost make it out Sand, Sandor, Sandor Company, Sandor Company. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where is it? Sandor Company. And you can see just the finish itself in the back is amazing. And I've had this piece forever as well. Very, very pretty. You see this nice big piece. It's so pretty. So then I'll go into my closet too. And then I ran across. I don't know if you guys are interested in any of this or not, but I'm a jewelry, a jewelry hound. I found a piece in here. Who remembers Kirk's Follies from QVC? That was a small company that used to be on QVC that was amazing. And they were into fairies and what have you. And they had some beautiful, absolutely beautiful pieces. And um, I only had picked up one or two and not even from qvc i got them from ebay or in this one i found at a thrift store believe it or not and they're no longer on qvc and they're no longer in business which is really sad because they were just such a wonderful whimsical you know company they would be spreading out their fairy glitter wherever they went and they had a beautiful following i'm not too sure what happened but this is one of their pieces from kirk's follies 
and it is a charm this the one with the cat and it's very pretty just very pretty and it's nice and chunky and I'm not into cats you guys if you didn't know I'm allergic to cats certain type of cats and I guess long hair cats and what have you I will stop literally my throat will close and I'll stop breathing so I, it's like I got to kind of be careful with cats and people that have cats. If I go to a house that has cats, I usually can only be in there for a few minutes and I got to go. I'll stop breathing. I just have to go. So um, I'm not a cat person. I enjoy do dogs. If I didn't have the problem with, with breathing and not being able to breathe, I'd probably love a cat. I think they're adorable. I think they're really cute. But when you can't breathe, they're just not that cute. Then the next piece I found, this was something I got from Florida when I went to Florida. And she looks like this. And it is a bracelet. And it's just very pretty. Very pretty. I like unusual pieces. Pieces that you don't see yourself coming and going just like this one. This one is uh, Mark Avon. It's just not a atypical type of piece that you see yourself coming and going. You just, you just don't. And I like that. I mean, I really like that. But I'm looking forward to doing more things like this on a larger scale. On a larger scale. And um, doing more mixed media pieces and things like that. And, you know, using what I have to create really pretty things. It just feels good. And I did work on some cards that I was thinking about. They're not done, though. They're not done. I had the stickers, the wall stickers from Dollar Tree. I bought two packs and I created these out of one pack. I think these were just one pack because they had the front and the back. And I used the front and the back. And my sister's always, you know, using little cards like this. So I said, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make her a couple of little different sets maybe for Christmas. And I know that she would appreciate it. So I made these little cards. Remember these? The stickers, the wall stickers that they were um, having. I need. I do need to add a little glue to them in the back. But they look like that. And in the back, they're just, you know, this pretty tan color. So she can write her, you know, her sentiment, her note, her thank you, um, whatever it is. And then she could just, I'll just add like a little bow or something to it. And this will be cute little cards and kind of like across season. She can use this year round type of a deal. And then the last ones that I was using Dollar Tree stickers and a little bit of this fabric right here. A little bit of this fabric right here. This rip rack that I got from Michaels is a really pretty gold. Um, I was making like little cards. And then I, I want to put... Um, little piece of paper in the inside so it'll be lighter so you can write stuff now, i wanted to add sentiments but i'm trying to look for a stamp that may have a sentiment that i can use or either some already cut die cuts since i don't i don't have a die cut or i don't have die cut i don't have die cuts or die cut machine when i say die cut i mean the ones that are already cut that you buy in packages that's what i mean that one I know y'all recognize these stickers because they're from Dollar Tree. And last one. Oh, no, this one. Where's this one? And I still got to finish up the inside. So, you know, all these I was working on. Not done, but I was working on those. And I already shared with you. The really cute Christmas tags were from the Christmas tree um, from the Dollar Tree that I created with the little things hanging out from the top. So you already saw these. I already shared these. I already shared these on another video. I already did that. I already did that. I know lighting here is like terrible. The sun's starting to come in. I know it's a mess back there. I told you I'm not done. But I've I've done so much work that I can actually reach the wall before I can even reach the wall. I still have to do that behind me. And this stuff over here on my left. I still have to do that. But if I've done so much work, but it's still not like, come and look at my craft room. It's not like that. It's not like that yet. It's not like that yet. Once it gets there, I promise you, 
I will show it and I need to do it as quickly as possible because I don't know, you know, how much longer we're going to be here for. I know we're going to do one more year. So I would really like to get this room whipped up into shape so I can at least enjoy it for the last year that we're here. If this is going to be our last year, I don't know, you know, but I'd really like to be able to come in here and really and truly enjoy it. I want to set up an area behind me for the kids so they can sit on top of a blanket, have a couple of pillows, have a little box of toys so I can just shut the room door, have some snacks and drinks. They can be in here with me while I'm doing my thing. You know, it's like, I just want to set it up that way. So it, it'll just make more sense. It's just reality. It's my reality. It may not be anybody else's reality, but it's my world. So that's, that's what I have to deal with and manage, um, which I don't have a problem with because my children are a blessing. They're an absolute blessing. But um, did y'all see that crazy weather? What was it in Venezuela? They had some crazy weather out there. Check it out. Go online. They had like four feet of hail within 15 minutes. Something insane. Insane. Um, I don't know. It's like so much stuff is going on. Oh, so much stuff is going on. Ooh. Like I always say, you guys. I love you. I want all of y'all to think about, you know, stocking up your pantries, your medicines, water, food, shelter, um, making sure you have everything that you need for winter. If something happens and we have a really bad winter and electricity goes off, you know, ways to keep warm, making sure you have enough blankets, coats, wool socks, um, provisions to continue to cook and eat and have warm food even when if it's cold just all those type of things just think about those type of things okay because I think about them all the time I worry about it and I'm I'm blessed to have a husband that's on board with me 100% about something like that and we should all be like the old times when people would have you know their food stocked up they'd have cold cellars and they'd have enough food down there to carry them over for several months we should all be that way. We should all be that way. I mean, who wants to who wants to have to run out in the middle of the night while your kid's throwing up, having diarrhea, having to run to the store to get some um, Gatorade or or electrolytes because they're getting dehydrated and they're in a car with you and they're you know throwing up, having diarrhea uncontrollably when you could just have it fully stocked in your house already, so you don't have to go out at one or two o'clock in the morning with your kid that's sick. You don't have to. Set yourself, set yourself up so you don't have to have those type of events. And if there is that kind of a problem or an event, you, you know, it'll just be easier. Have your medicines, have the things that you typically need or things that you experience. If you have high acid, you know, um, have your, have your acid medicine with you. So you're not killing yourself in the middle of the night till you can get out to the store and then feeling miserable, you know, whatever it is whatever it is, just have it ready in your home, in your home. Now, if you can, you know, little by little, get your provisions up. So once it gets cold, the winter comes in, you don't necessarily have to be out there when you don't have to be. And always try to keep your gas tank. As soon as it gets to half full, fill it back up. Because if there's an emergency in the middle of the night and say you have to follow an ambulance or something, cause somebody's gotten hurt, somebody's gotten sick. You don't have to stop at a gas station because you're not going to make it to the hospital. You can hop into that car and you can go. Say if there's another type of crazy weather event, they're like, everybody has to evacuate. There's going to be a flood and your home is going to be included in a flood area. You don't have to stop at a gas station, stand in line for miles trying to get gas. You're okay. You see what I'm saying? Just simple things and prevention um, can save a lot of time, a lot of aggravation. Um, I'm still, I'm still a work in progress myself, so... I'm not 100% foolproof on anything at all. I'm just like you. I'm learning my way through all of this and trying to um, see what I need versus what I have. And it's, it's a daily thing for me that I'm learning and I'm, and I'm stumbling through. So just remember that because it's cold outside already. It's windy. And um, if you don't have to be out there, why be out there? You know? So. I guess this is where I'm going to end it because I'm sure I'm boring you.
but I wanted to come on here and do the little share and then I want to thank Candace for the lovely card thank you Candace and um, know that that you can join in the crafty challenge that I have if you want to join in you're more than welcome to join in it's open till the end of November and if anybody else wants to join in please join in and I will talk to y'all later I might do a vlog tomorrow I'm going to my sister's house it's Halloween day I'm taking the kids over there and um, we're going to spend the day over there with her and um, do trick-or-treating in her neighborhood because we know everybody there. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. So maybe I'll do something over there at her house. That might be fun. I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.